Hey guys, it's Anu here from Lovell Soccer and today, as you can see, we'll be doing an unboxing of the all-new Mizuno Morelia Neo 2 Made in Japan version of these boots. Now, on opening the box, all you do get is a string bag, which is all black in colour, with Made in Japan branding and Mizuno branding in gold. Really cool, really handy. All that's left within the actual box are the boots themselves. So let's get them out and take a closer look at these. I'll put the left boot there for you guys to see throughout the whole video and talk about the right boot here in my hand. Now, from the get-go guys, you can see the boots are predominantly red along the upper there, which fades really nicely into black at the top of the boot there and also into the laces. As well as that, you do have hints of silver in the Mizuna branding on either side, so on the medial side and the lateral side of the boot there. And then you can also see a bit of Mizuna branding done there on the tongue. As well as that, if we move to the bottom of the boot, pretty much all red again with kind of silver tips to the actual studs. So all in all guys, I'm a big fan of the colorway that Mizuno have given these boots. Really cool. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But for now, let's take a closer look at these boots tech wise. Now, this being the made in Japan version means that they are handmade. So they've actually used the highest grade of lev K leather. So that's kangaroo leather to make these. So they're really light really soft and not only that guys they've actually treated it with scotch guard so while it was like kind of tanning this is a process used um, in leather making um, they've actually allowed this boot to now become more durable water resistant and also stain resistant so any bit of mud is going to slide off these but as i said it's really lightweight really soft you will get that barefoot sensation when making contact with the ball wearing these. As well as that, you've then got a centralized lacing system allowing you to get that really good lockdown feel in the midfoot section of your boot. And then this mesh lining for your tongue as well, providing good lockdown once you tighten the laces. Moving to the back of the boot, guys, you've got an external heel counter there to ensure that your heel area is well protected. And if we finally move to the bottom of the boot, you've got a conical and bladed stud um, construction, allowing for better 360 rotation when turning with those conical studs and then really good traction when accelerating with this bladed stud. So all in all, guys, I've got to say, if you are kind of a speed player, definitely a boot that you'd want to take a look at and what I really like about this is that they've used traditional materials such as leather but ensured it's ready for the modern game with that lightweight and soft construction to the upper but as always guys let me know your thoughts on these in the comments below I'll leave the link in the description to ensure that you guys are able to check them out but until next time like comment and subscribe and peace